Hey guys, so today I did a very smoky eye that I just think it, it came out really good, I think. Um, this is something that you can use more for her, like a special occasion. Um, you can do it any time of day if you want to wear um, dark colors like this. And I really feel like this can be pulled, anybody can pull this colors off and this smoky eye. I'm using the Naked 2 palette. And I'm using a combination of grays, silver, and bronze shades. So this is how it came out. Um, hopefully the pictures before the intro really were able to show you what the look um, looks like. Um, I think it's beautiful. I love the look. And it's perfect for a special occasion. And I give you some tips to make your eyeliner last through that as well. So if you want to see how to do this very simple smoky eye for any any time of day, any occasion, then keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a base, one that's um, like a gray color. I'm using the Buxom Cream Eyeshadow in Pug, which is a very shimmery um, charcoal gray, and it has a bit of um, like a duochrome to it. The shimmer does. Have, it's like an iridescent, multi-dimensional color, which gives it a really nice metallic sheen to the lid, which I love. So take a little bit of that on your ring finger, and then all you have to do is just apply it onto the lids. If you have oily lids like I do, you might want to use um, a little bit of foundation underneath or even a um, primer that prevents creasing. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that onto the lid. I'm also going to take some of that with my finger and run it underneath my eye all the way and if you get some under here it's fine because you can clean it up later you can even take the um, MAC 239 brush which is what we're going to use for eyeshadow to put some of that base on the lower lash line as well and then you can just pat some more on and bring it all the way into the inner corner as well so now we're going to go in with the same brush, the 239 from MAC, and we're going to go with our first shade, which is called Pistol. And it's this one right here. So we're going to apply that onto the lid and just pack that color. We're going to go about halfway because we're going to apply another color in the inner corner. So about halfway, you can apply that Pistol shade. And you can also take some of it on the tip of the brush and run that right over the base on the lower lash line. And then flip the brush over and pick up the color Verve which is the silver shade right next to Pistol and that's what's going to go in the inner corner of the eye. And This is a very shimmery, very metallic finishes on these eyeshadows. So, we're going to overlap these two shadows together, just barely right in this inner pocket right in here. And then you're also going to take some of that verb on the same brush and you're going to go down in the lower waterline. And just make sure that it connects, just creating a nice silver highlight right in this inner corner here. Now I'm going to switch to a fluffier brush for the crease shade. We're going to apply two different colors to the crease. But the first shade that I'm going to use is um, the matte color in the palette with an E40 brush, which is a big fluffy brush because I want this to be a very soft wash of color. And the color is called Tease. And it's um, more of like a purpley taupe shade. So we're going to get quite a bit of that. And we're just going to work this back and forth just lightly. Looking straight ahead into a mirror, you want to just kind of lightly shade right in this area here. All the way around the gray. And I'm going to work that back and forth. And what that's going to do is going to help keep the dark um, brown that we're using in the outer V from coming up a little too high and being a little too, too dark in the crease area. So keep working that back and forth and just keep blending it until it blends up into the brow bone to pretty much blend to nothing. So once you have that teased matte shade blended out to pretty much nothing, you don't want it to be a very apparent color, you just want a little bit of shading. I did bring it up almost all the way up to my brow bone um, just because that's just the way I prefer my smoky eyes, but I'm going to take a Sigma E30 brush, which is a pencil brush, 
to apply this darker brown. And we're actually going to go in with the color Snake Bite, which is like a bronzy, golden brown color. It's, it's a really beautiful shade. So taking a little bit of that and just basically applying it to the outer V of the eye. And I didn't bring it in all the way. I brought it about halfway across. So taking whatever's left on the brush and just kind of going right into that pocket right there in that crease area, going about halfway. And it may look a little harsh, but we're going to blend this out. So just continue working this shade right in this crease. If you need to switch to a crease brush, a good one for precise application for eyeshadow is the rounded crease number 13 from Sephora. It's just the ones with the black handles. It's very kind of tapered with a point crease brush that I like to just kind of wiggle right in this pocket right here and go back and forth just so that there's not a harsh line. And then you just have to uh, continue building this color. And then also I'm going to take it and run it on the, on the lower lash line about halfway overlapping that darker gray that we used. So the next thing we have to do is apply some eyeliner. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Perversion Black Eyeliner and I'm going to run that in my upper waterline. And this is a very soft, creamy, and the blackest black that you will probably find, ever find, on the market so far. And I adore their eyeliners. They're so soft, so pigmented, and creamy where you can actually use these and smudge them. So then, we have to apply some liquid liner. I'm going to use my Revlon uh, Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen in black. And I'm going to do it just fairly on the th on the thinner side, more um, thinner than I usually do. And then I'm going to do a tiny little wing. Just It's barely even noticeable, but just so that it gives my, my eyes just a slight little lift in the cat eye effect. So I'm going to apply this. And you can definitely apply um, a dark brown or you can apply this as thick as you like, but I'm just going to apply it pretty thin and close to my lashes. And I'm going to bring it thick from the outer corner and bring it thin as we work the way our way into the inner corner just because I don't want my eye to seem small and closed off. And then to kind of make sure that that line stays on, I know that these last a long time, but if you don't have this one and you have something that you're not quite sure if it lasts all day, a good trick to do is to take a black eyeshadow and in this palette you have the color blackout with an angled eyeliner brush and just basically take some of that color and just go right over that liner just to kind of basically seal the deal and make sure that it's going to last, especially if you're going out with your friends dancing or something like that and you want it to last all night, you want to make sure that it's going to stay put. I know that they will, but this is just a little bit of an extra step that you can do. You don't have to, but you can. So now for the lower waterline, I'm going to take some of my Perversion Eyeliner and I'm going to run it as close to my base of my lashes. I don't want it so much like into the actual water waterline. I want to create a little bit of a smoky effect by running it right at the base of the lashes. And you see how thick and black that color applies? And I'm going to run this about almost all the way in. And then I'm going to take that same angled eyeliner brush that we used to put the black eyeshadow over the liquid liner and just kind of smudge this and make sure that it doesn't move. Because sometimes if you go in too far in, you're going to get goop right in the inner corner of the eye and it's going to probably be black most likely. So we want to make sure that this is not going to go running anywhere and it's not going to go below the, the lower lash line, especially if you're going to a special event. You want to make sure that this is going to stay on. So that's pretty much it. You can tighten up any um, last minute things. I'm going to take my tapered kabuki brush, the F86 from Sigma is what I use for concealer, and kind of just clean up underneath here. I'm going to do it on this other eye as well. And that's pretty much it. 
All we have to do is apply some mascara. The mascara I'm using is a waterproof one, and it's the Cannonball from Urban Decay. This is the only waterproof mascara that I will ever use because it comes off just like a regular mascara does, and it has like tiny little fibers. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but it has little fibers that really extend your lashes. So I'm gonna apply two generous coatings of this to my lashes, my upper lash line and my lower lash line, and then I'll be back to show you how to complete the rest of the look. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we just have to do a few last minute things just to kind of pull the look together. I did go ahead and add um, some bronzer before filming this part of the video. I did some contouring just to save time on the video. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my blush that I'm going to use. I'm using the MAC blush in pink tea, which is the satin powder blush. And it looks like nothing in the pan, but honestly, trust me when I say when you apply this color, it gives you just the perfect amount of glow. And I'm using my Real Techniques Multitask Brush, which is my favorite brush for blush. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheek, most of it, and then whatever's left on the brush, blend it outwards towards my hairline. So you want a blush that is going to give you a little bit of life and a little bit of color without too, being too overpowering and without taking over because you want the the most attention to go to your eyes being that they're so smoky and I really love these color combinations together so just apply that to your preference as little or as much as you like. I'm not doing any highlighting on my face because I'm using a liquid foundation and um, I do have slightly oily skin so you're going to kind of see a little bit of a sheen kind of coming through anyways. For my lips, I'm going to keep it kind of simple because when you're out at a special event you want to touch up as least as possible. And I'm going to use the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains in Precious which is a nice kind of nude shade. It looks like absolute nothing um, but it does give you just the right amount of a pink tone and we're gonna go over with a gloss. So don't think that you have to use like a concealer nude type of color. I just want something you can even do like a soft pink with this as well. Um, and these feel really soft. This is the only one that I own out of the line. These are fairly new. Um, some of you have commented that I should try these because if I really like the um, Tarte to Lip Surgeons ones then I'm gonna like these and they're half the price. So far so good. Um, like I said, I only have one shade so I can't really say that it's amazing. I haven't used it that much. Um, and then I'm going to top it with a super sparkly kind of glittery um, lip gloss. And I'm using the color, it's actually Tarina Tarantino Sparklicity Gloss. This came in a holiday kit for lap from last year and a little bit goes a long way and the color is called Payette. I believe it's how you pronounce it. It's just the most beautiful pink and glitter shade ever. I love it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on and it instantly adds a little extra something to the lip so it doesn't look so matte looking because this is more of like a kind of satiny finish not too much of a shimmer or gloss. And that is pretty much it. This is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you will try it out. This is something that you can pretty much use anywhere. It doesn't have to be for a special occasion. Um, I would totally wear this pretty much anywhere I went. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and thank you for joining me for this tutorial. And I hope that you guys will try it out. And the products that I use for every part of my face will be in the more info. So expand that. Even my foundation that I use, I will list it below in my bronzer as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.